Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video where I will cover how to take a certain antibiotic. Today we will be covering amoxicillin with clavulanic acid and for all the other videos on antibiotics, check the description. And let me introduce myself if we're meeting for the first time. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. And this video comes with a little disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now let's get started. The generic name of this medication is amoxicillin with clavulanic acid and it's known under the brand names Augmentin and Clavulin. It's available as powder for oral suspension, tablets and as an injection. Now then, how do you use this medication? If you're taking the tablets, you just swallow them with half a glass of water and if you're using the powder, just resolve it in some water and drink the glass. Make sure to do so after you ate something or while eating something and do so at fixed times. This will make it less likely that you forget a dose. The duration of treatment depends on the severity of the infection and the precise location but usually is between 5 to 14 days. However, it can be longer in extreme cases. It's important here that you do not interrupt or stop the treatment. You should finish it completely, even if your symptoms already have disappeared, because this doesn't mean the bacteria have disappeared as well. So finish your treatment. This brings us to when to use Augmentin. It's a broad spectrum antibiotic, which means it's effective against thousands and thousands of different types of bacteria. Therefore, it's often used when the microorganism that causes the infection is unknown. And because of the clavulanic acid, it can even be used to treat bacteria that normally would be resistant against just amoxicillin. But because it's a broad spectrum antibiotic, it also kills the good bacteria. The bacteria in our stomach and intestines that usually help us. This can explain some of the side effects Augmentin has, like diarrhea, stomach pains, but more on that later. Now, Augmentin can be used to treat an upper respiratory tract infection like a sinusitis, a lower respiratory tract infection like a pneumonia, a urogenital tract infection like chlamydia, a gastrointestinal infection like the H. pylori bacteria that causes stomach ulcers, infections in your bones like an osteomyelitis or a prosthetic joint infection, and lastly, even for severe skin or soft tissue infections. Now this brings us on the correct dosage to use of Augmentin. Now it's rather hard and quite boring to give you the precise dosages for all different infections because it depends on the age of the patient, the location, the severity of the infection, your kidney function, your body weight and the expected causative bacteria. Therefore I will only provide you with some general guidelines. Here it's important to note that you should always use the prescribed amount and frequency. Now for oral use, tablets or suspensions, the usual dose for adults and children weighing more than 40 kilograms is one tablet of 500 milligrams by 125 milligrams every eight hours or one tablet by 875 milligrams by 125 milligrams every 12 hours. In serious infections, the dose can be increased up to 1000 milligrams by 125 milligrams every eight hours. Now, have you forgotten a dose and it's less than four hours until your next dose then just skip it and take the dose at the end of your treatment. Unfortunately, Augmentin also has some side effects. I will list the most common ones right here. More than 10% of all patients will experience diarrhea. 1 to 10% will experience nausea, vomiting and candidiasis. And about 0.1 to 1% of patients will experience dizziness, a headache, rash, itching and dyspepsia. And this brings us to safety. Now it's safe to use Augmentin with any type of food and even with alcohol. However, you should be careful when driving while using Augmentin. You see, Augmentin can cause side effects like dizziness. And if you're experiencing dizziness as a side effect, of course, it's not safe to drive. Usually those side effects will decrease after a few days of using Augmentin and then it's safe again to drive. And lastly, don't use Augmentin if you're hypersensitive to penicillin or cephalosporin. And as you know, we always end off these videos looking at pregnancy and lactation. Now, Augmentin is safe to use when pregnant or when breastfeeding, but it can cause some side effects in your child. So when you're breastfeeding and your child experiences diarrhea, candidiasis or a skin rash, then it would be wise to stop using Augmentin 
and visit the doctor. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something and I hope now you know how to use Augmentin. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will answer them. Furthermore, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. This will let YouTube know it's worth recommending to other people. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to the 3000 subscriber milestone and you can help me. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye bye.